all right you guys hello and welcome back to my channel in today's video we are going to put together treat bags for Evelyn to take the class for to take to school for her classroom Christmas party so you guys have probably seen some of this in a previous Dollar Tree haul um, but I got these super cute little snowman baggies there's 20 four kids um and each one's a pack of 15 so i had to get two two of those so i'll have a few extra bags left over which will be fine and then i got two bags of these suckers and i'm going to kind of count them out there's 40 in each um So each kid might be able to get like two, maybe three. Um, and it's like a special holiday edition. So this hot chocolate, toasted marshmallow, classic cotton candy, caramel corn, apple pie, and blueberry pancakes. So they're like limited seasonal edition suckers. And then I got some stamps, some cute little Stampy stamps. I had to get three packs of those. I had to get, I got some erasers. They come in packs of 18, so I had to get two packs. Whatever's left, I will let Evelyn put in her little art box for when she does homework and stuff at home. But there's little Christmas erasers. And then, of course, we had to get some Christmas pencils. And then I got four bags of these chocolates. Doesn't say how many is in there. I'm hoping I can put two in each kid's. But little Christmas chocolates. And then I got two boxes of these 12 counts of candy canes. So, each kid will be able to also have a candy cane. And that was all I could really find at the Dollar Tree. Um, they didn't really have any bags of candy. It was mainly like all like single giant chocolate bars or like single bags of cotton candy um, or like the little boxes like you get the movie theaters. It was mostly that kind of stuff. So the Dollar Tree didn't really have a lot, but we're gonna work with it. We're gonna work with it. So I'm gonna speed this up while I put them together. And then um, I'll come back on here and show you guys what they look like when they're done. four bags with just the pencils in them and I have about six extra bags and one two three four five six and eight extra pencils which is great because Evelyn needs more pencils for her little art box that she takes back and forth to school anyway so that's perfect that's perfect all right now we're gonna speed it up again I'm gonna count out the candy and everything else um and see how many pieces of what of each candy can go in each bag and i'll be right back all right i decided to move you guys at a different angle just bending down looking at the bed hurt my back I wanted to sit down for a minute because I just walked a five mile walk before recording this video but I got everything all laid out pencils already in the bags um they each are gonna get one candy cane um and they'll each get one eraser and one stamp um I just need to figure out 
how many suckers and how many pieces of chocolate each cake can get. So let's speed that up so you guys can watch me do math, which I'm that I'm terrible at. <laughs> Alright, so you guys just watched me put the erasers in here. Um, and I have this many extras. And how freaking cute are these? I'm going to put these in Evelyn's art box for school too. It's like a little reindeer. And then a little snowman. Um, obviously, we have Santa Claus. And then we have a Christmas tree. So how freaking cute are those? All right, next up, we add in the stamps. Okay, stamps are in. Little stamps. We had no extra stamps left. We had the perfect amount. Um, now we're going to put the candy canes in and I'm going to figure out the math for these suckers and these chocolates. I'm dreading it y'all. I'm dreading it all, but let's keep moving. chocolate in there I had enough for each kid to have two pieces of chocolate and I have 10 pieces left over um, that I'll throw in like a, either a stocking or someone's gift or maybe I'll eat them who knows um, now we just got the suckers left which thinking each kid should be able to get three suckers but I'm going to speed it up again and you're going to watch me figure out some math, tie these bad boys up and we'll come back and show you what they look like when they're done. And this is just, it actually wasn't that expensive and it's all stuff from the Dollar Tree and it's going to make a group, a big group of five-year-old kindergartners very, very happy. <laughs> suckers in there each kid could have three suckers i ended up having 13 suckers left over but i really want to try one of them cotton candy is my favorite flavor so we're going to try cotton candy first i hope it tastes like the dum-dum that is good it tastes better more Like, you can tell, like, the dum-dums are, like, you know, flavoring. But this one tastes like actual cotton candy. I don't know how to explain it. It just tastes better. Now we just gotta zip tie all these up. And they'll be good to go. All right, you guys, it's later in the day. I totally realized I forgot to show you guys what they look like once I got the little tighties on them. They look like this. A few pieces of candy in there, an eraser, stamp, pencil, candy cane. They look like this. So cute. So let me know down in the comments um, if you want to see me do more treat bags as Evelyn does more parties throughout the year. I did do um, Halloween ones for Halloween parties that I volunteered at. Um, 
and I know I will be doing some for Valentine's Day. So let me know down in the comments if you like this type of content. Um, and yeah, don't forget the subscribe button, hit the bell to be notified of my next video, and I will see you guys in my next video. Adios!